na washukuru hawa maaskofu na viongozi wetu wa dini ya Kiislamu waliotunenea maneno ya wazi askofu Mwaura amesema um, nimepata mafunzo ya ajabu leo i must i must confess i have never seen it the way bishop Mwaura has put it today whoever said life is a journey in learning say the truth because today i have learned many things hmm? nimejaribu kusoma soma eh nimejaribu <laughs> nimejaribu kusoma soma niko na degree kadhaa lakini hapa pia nimepata mafunzo eh kwa sababu askofu ametufafanulia kwamba kumbe ahadi kutimia inahitaji subra. Eh? Naona sababu tunasumbuka kumbe tunasumbuka sana kwa sababu hatujaelewa atuja, vizuri. <laughs> Tunataka mambo yawe leo 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 haraka haraka hivyo hivyo. Lakini eh, as, eh, eh, tumefundishwa hapa na viongozi hawa wetu wa dini wametuambia vile ahadi zote tunatimia nafikiri hata sisi kama viongozi za zingine tunatoa ahadi lakini hatujapangia vile itangojewa so ndio tunakuwa eh, tunapata matatizo upande moja kama viongozi kuzitimiza upande mwingine kwa wana wanji wakitongojea zitimie so umetusaidia hata mimi askofu umenisaidia sana Nimeelewa kumbe hizi ahadi nimetoa kumbe kuna muda hapa ya kungoja ndio iweze kuti. Sasa zingine hata mimi nauliza mbona hii ahadi imechukua muda mrefu. Kumbe nakosa kuelewa kumbe iko. <laughs> iko kungoja hapa katikati. So tutaendelea eh, vile ume eh, tufundisha na vile umetuwasia ili sote tuweze kutimiza malengo yetu kama taifa kwa kuyafuatilia yale mipango yetu yote tukiongeza na kule ndani tukichanganya na subra ndio malengo yetu mipango yetu yaweze kutimia kwa mpango kwa mapenzi ya Mungu na kwa makadirio ya vile tunaweza kwenda mbele pamoja tumezungumza mambo ya elimu na tumesema ya kwamba bado kuna upungufu kiasi fulani hapa pwani kwa mambo ya elimu. Nimewauliza viongozi wa pwani tusaidiane na wao. Tulitoa nafasi kama elfu tano ya waalimu kuajiriwa hapa pwani. Lakini nafasi hizo zote hatujazikamilisha kwa sababu tuko na shortage ya waalimu hapa pwani. Tuko na gap ya karimu waalimu 300350 hawajapatikana kusomesha watoto wetu. Na tumekubaliana na hawa viongozi ya kwamba leo asubu, eh, eh, adhuri ya leo naenda kufungua chuo ya mafunzo ya waalimu hapa kwale. Tunataka waalimu zaidi waje pale tuwafundishe ili waende wafundishe watoto wetu katika vijiji na mashule yetu kule mashinani tumekubaliana na wao tumekubaliana vile vile ya kwamba ma, kwa hiyo mambo ya elimu tuko na technical training colleges tuko pia na college kubwa ambayo tunajenga hapa kombani hapa kwale pale matuga college kubwa ya logistics port operations na shipping pale tumeweka karibu shilingi bilioni moja. tunataka tuikamilishe hiyo college nimemwambia waziri mvuria aifuatilie tuikamilishe hiyo college kwa sababu tunataka hiyo college pamoja na tvets ambazo ziko hapa zitusaidie na training ya vijana ambao watatusaidia ku unlock potential ya blue economy 
ile rasilimali tuko nayo kubwa ya blue economy katika sehemu hii we need the correct human capital the correct training the correct skills ambayo itatusaidia kwa sababu hapa baharini katika makadirio yetu kwa sasa tunapata karibu shilingi bilioni 15 bilioni 20 ya mapato katika bahari hii lakini potential yake ni between 120 and 150 billion shillings every year the reason why we have not unlocked that potential is a couple of issues moja yao ni training ya vijana wetu yale mengine nitasema baadaye so on that training so to endeshe mambo haya na tuhakikishe ya kwamba uh, we are working together to make sure that there are adequate courses in every tivet eh, katika pwani hapa na tukamilishe ile eh, college kubwa pale eh, kwale ambayo itatusaidia na mambo ya port logistics na mambo ya blue economy mambo ya eh, shipping na mambo yale mengine na training ya vijana wetu tuweze kupata seafarers tuweze kupata wale wengine wote wanaitajika na uh, we have had a very candid conversation this morning with the leaders from this region on this subject sote tunakubaliana ya kwamba kwa pamoja vile umesema bishop in one accord umesema mambo mawili muhimu umesema subra na umesema umoja so uh, pia tumekubaliana hapa lazima tuongee uh, tukiwa pamoja na vile nimesema vile nimeahidi wa Kenya we are going to work together with all leaders leo tumekuwa na mkutano na governors wote na mabunge wote waliokuja kwa sababu pia na sisi tunatafuta hiyo umoja one accord ndio tuweze kutimiza malengo ya taifa letu vile vile tumekubaliana na hawa viongozi mambo ya port ya Mombasa mambo ya port ya Lamu tumekubaliana mambo matatu ya kwanza tumekubaliana hakuna port itabinafsishwa ama itafanywa kuwa private ya watu fulani hiyo tumekubaliana tunaelewana yale mpango ya zamani ya privatization na kubinafsisha port haitafanyika chini ya uongozi ya serikali mimi naongoza niliwaahidi ya kwamba nitarudisha port operations mahali ilikuwa imepelekwa kule Nairobi irudi pwani na hiyo ni kazi ya kwanza nilifanya wakati nilichaguliwa kama rais lakini kurudisha port operations peke yake hapa haitoshi we need a whole port development plan na ndio sababu tumetangaza vile tutakuwa na concession ya muda ambaye watu wataleta investment zao tumetangaza vile 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 tutajumuisha port yetu ya Mombasa transport logistics na special economic zone because that is what you need to unlock the potential we have in the port of Mombasa na tumekubaliana vile tutajumuisha port ya Mombasa na the rest of the hinterland all the way mpaka kisangani kule DRC we already have a plan on how that whole ecosystem is going to work so um tutaiunganisha port yetu ya Mombasa kupitia Nairobi naivasha tujenge big industrial park so that some of the items badala ya bogi kurudi bila mzigo pia tulete bidhaa kutoka huko ambazo tutatumia to increase the capacity of the port to export so that we can make more money nataka niwashukuru wananchi wote kwa umoja wenu nataka niwaombe kwa unyenyekevu na kwa heshima kubwa niombe wananchi wote wa Kenya tujue ya kwamba taifa la Kenya ni taifa letu sote kila mmoja wetu ako na mchango wake ndio Kenya iweze kusonga mbele kwa haya mipango yote tuko nayo mkenya ni lazima uji 
uzishe na utipange na miradi haya tuko na miradi ya uvuvi tuko na miradi ya kilimo tuko na miradi ya bandari tuko na miradi ya masomo ujipange na sekta moja ndio uweze kutoa mchango wako aidha kwa kufanya kazi kwa kufanya biashara kwa kushughulika na eh, mambo ya eh, usimamizi wa aina tofauti tofauti kwa sababu Kenya kusonga mbele itagarimu kila mkenya kutoa mchango wake tusiwe tu ni mtu wa kulalamika mbona haijafanyika mbona hii mbona hii wewe pia ujiulize mchango wangu kwa hii harakati yote ni gani in this election i say it was an election with a difference god demonstrated to us that as a country we are very proud as the people of kenya that we had a peaceful election we had an election that dealt a very big blow to ethnicity and we had an election that affirmed the position of the people of kenya as the ultimate decision makers of how our country is governed which leaders are elected it is the people of kenya and god who made this decision na ndio tuko na sababu ya kumshukuru mungu